Peace and blessings. I present, storms of love are brewing. I met you in a flash of lightning. Your power was so prevalent, so shocking, so soul jolting. And I've lived to tell the tale of your electricity. The rumbling you put in my heart was the thunder of a love that I, that I knew had to be the sound of a Greek deity saying, okay, Cupid, step out of the way. This one is much bigger than what you're used to. I got this. In a tidal wave of emotion, I went in search for the deepest region of your ocean. I went in search of the hottest part of your desert. I went in search of the nourishment that your solar energy only helped to boost. My vitamin D, determination, dedication, devotion. <laughs> I had to act fast. As a man, I know that a woman's emotion can come as quick and go as fast as the strongest tornado. You have the power to move buildings, to move mountains. You have the power to move a man from one place to another. And I only hope that I would get swept up in the gale force winds of your admiration and focus. I had no idea that you would show. You showed up, but you did. And, and in that instance, I only wish that you would take me with you on your path of insatiable destruction. Destroy the myth of a long distance relationship. Destroy the myth that love at first sight is a fabrication. Destroy the myth that a man could not look into the eyes of a woman's weather and not only see himself for the truth he wants to become, but to see the climate that would make his northern and southern hemisphere connect at just the right angle and time to make her equator warm and lush for life to thrive euphorically. It rained like a monsoon as I decided to make one of the most powerful moves in my life. Showers of doubt and negativity rained down when I gave up life. Life of being comfortable in the land miles away. Life that I had been spending years building up. Life that I knew to be complete until you came into my forecast. The best umbrella couldn't keep me from getting wet from thoughts of Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, maybe I'm doing something that I'll regret. Maybe I'm making a mistake. But you know what? Every time I felt another piece of me getting soaked up in such thoughts, I looked up and smiled. Why? <laughs> because even in the rain, I remembered that the sun was still shining bright above those clouds. You were beyond the simple atmospheric pressures that tried to keep me fighting through raging and gaining waters. You were the lifeboat in it all. You were the brightest star in the sky at night when the rains passed and I realized that for you, I would follow like slaves to freedom. You freed me. Through it all, I managed to navigate through the stormy weather. I did so and what has come from it it's a blue sky that I knew followed the darkest and most turbulent piece of life that I have come to know. So now, I'm stepping out into the sunshine without an umbrella. The last I heard, there would be rainy days ahead, thunderstorms even. There'll be the coldest nights of winter and even the chilly days of autumn that will try my patience. <laughs> I even know that I might even equate to half my time with you. But you know what? Your kiss was the first day of spring. Your love is the sunshine with a cool breeze that calms me when the heat gets too much to bear. You make my flower of life bloom. You nurture it. The heat of your summer strips me naked, makes me sweat, and makes me appreciate the thirst more for the soul-quenching waters of your entity. I lay under you and look up at the beautiful clouds you produce. <laughs> I try to imagine what each will look like, our future. I get lost looking into you because I know that as you look upon me, you realize that without me, you're only just weather, seasons, and parts of years to come begging to be recognized. I recognize you. I appreciate you. Smile your sunlight. Cry your rain. Be angered to the point of earthquakes. Be sadder than a gray day. Be the reward 
of an oasis in the desert. Be cold when I need to be reminded of life without you. Be the heat that burned away any doubt that I had of you. Be the mystery of life that makes the weather of even the Bermuda Triangle lost to find. Be. Be you. Be. Be mine. Be. Be us. Be. Hi. Can you tell us who you are? My name is Andre MacArthur. Uh, Andre MacArthur from Brooklyn, New York, living in beautiful Malaga, enjoying the weather, enjoying life, thriving off of happiness and positivity, and hoping only to send it right back out into the world. <laughs> <laughs> Man, my man, that shit was powerful, y'all. <laughs>